You got five seconds to grab your drink of choice, okay? And there's no excuse because I have my water in a freaking party cup today, okay? So grab your beverage. I saw someone post on Instagram the other day and tag me in it because I asked what's in your cup and they were like, whiskey, and I was like, I love to see it. While I promote drinking water because hydrating is good for you and sometimes we need that reminder, drink whatever you want. And I love to see people actually cheersing me with whatever's in their cup. So uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. I hope you're having a great day. I gotta try to not get my lip gloss everywhere. Take a wild guess what we're checking out today. Two words. Two words. Entitled people. Does anyone have a car they can part with? Must be at least a 2015 with AC, cause just the car fan ain't gonna cut it. And new tires. I know I didn't state any color, but I don't like red cars. I am a single parent, let me know, and would be nice if it had tinted windows. No rude comments, please. Did you write no rude comments because you were expecting rude comments because of your high demands for a free car? Not only a free car, but then having a list of requirements for the free car? I don't know how you get nice comments on a post like that. I'm looking for a sitter to come to my house and watch my one-year-old son. I'll be here just in another room taking phone calls for work. I'll take a 15 minute break and a 30 minute lunch while you're here so I can watch him during that time. The days I'm needing help, Monday to Friday, 9.30 a.m. to 3.15 p.m. I don't mind if you bring your kids with you, $20 a day. Message me if you're interested. You lost me at the $20 a day. You lost me there, 9.30 to 3.15, like that's still, those are during working hours. They could just get a job that pays that in one hour. So close, so close with like them being at home, them helping out when they're on their breaks, perfect. I can even bring my own kids, great. And then the $20 a day happens. Mm. So you're like in an, the whole Monday to Friday, you're making $120 a week. Did I count that right? 20, 40, 60, 80. Y'all, I went out drinking last night till 4 a.m., okay? Give me a break. My wife's aunt's wife, hold on. My wife's aunt, her aunt, the aunt's wife is a horrible person. Just off the top of my head, at her mother-in-law's funeral, she literally stole all the trays of catered food out of the oven before anybody ate and left. Where'd she go with it? Like she straight up went in there, went in the oven, took the catered food and just peaced out and went home and was like, well, here's my meal prep for the week. That's what, at a funeral? Not even a wedding, a funeral, as if their day isn't bad enough. We just gotta make it worse. Hello everyone, I am a new business owner looking to hire some artists. I will not ask you for a penny. The business side is done by me. Wait a second. You're looking to hire someone. Why would you ever be asking for money? What I need is your art. Requirements must have a following of at minimum 2,000 followers on any social platform. The art needs to be high quality digital art. If you are interested, please send me a message to my work email. Yeah, this isn't even like, you're not hiring. You're looking for an intern <laughs> at that point. You're looking for someone who wants to create art for you for free. That's insulting. And it must be high quality though. I don't want to pay for high quality work, but I want the work to be high quality. That's hilarious. My original proposition was for a collab, which you agreed to. The only reason I was offering to pay was if I saved money on a studio, which I haven't. So, I'd, so I would have been paying out of my own pocket. With respect, if I had more of a budget to spend on a photographer, I wouldn't be looking to collab with a student. But don't worry about it, because I'm just gonna take the pictures myself. Hold on, I'm very confused. So they're saying basically, I don't have money to hire a photographer, that's why I'm trying to collab with a student, because they don't consider you an actual photographer, <laughs> is what they're saying. That's great, that's so nice. I feel so great about my talent and my skill and my time. This parent with a rather hefty wish list for their kid's 12th birthday. Anyone giving away cheap AirPods Gen 2 with charger and original casing unsealed under $10, preferably free, right when you think you have heard it all. I'll be damned. 
Oh my unsealed. What? The plastic wrapped around it is probably worth more than $10. Or if not, can anyone give me a free Disney Plus account? Both are for my daughter's 12th birthday. I promised her them, and if she doesn't get them, she will cry. Thanks. Yeah, that ain't gonna work with me. You're not about to try to guilt trip me. Oh, I promised her them. So if she doesn't get them, she's gonna cry. Boo-hoo. You promised her something you could not provide. So those tears are on your shoulders and not mine. And honestly, she shouldn't be crying if she's not receiving AirPods. Like, she's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. Maybe this is a nice life lesson moment. We can teach her something. You're not always gonna get what you want in life, but we're not gonna cry about it. We got someone who's shopped the bed, selling beds. And someone wrote, if you give me one, I can write an excellent review. Way better than the ones on here. <laughs> I mean, sign me up. If we're getting free anything just to write a review, well, hey now. <laughs> I will review this car for you if you just give it to me for free and I'll make sure it's a good one. My grandfather thinks that the entire world revolves around him. He does the whole, do you know who I am? thing any time that he doesn't get his way, despite the fact that he is not and never has been anyone of note or importance. Oh, <laughs> great. If he wants something, he expects you to drop whatever you're doing and help him no matter what. He once threatened to beat me up when I wouldn't get him a Pepsi. The reason that I wouldn't get it for him is that he's diabetic and therefore not allowed to drink it. I've never met someone so far up at their own backside in my life. A Pepsi. And like, first of all, even if you just didn't get him the Pepsi, shouldn't be threatening to beat someone up over our Pepsi. But the fact that you were actually trying to consider his health and you were trying to do something nice by saying no, you know, I'm just trying to help you out because you're not allowed to drink it. I think man's got a serious addiction to this Pepsi if he's taking it that seriously. I used to work in retail, so I've come across my fair share of rude and entitled people. They were a huge reason why I went back to school and no longer work as a cashier. Anyway, one day while I was manning the registers with a few other coworkers of mine, I had a massive nosebleed right as I was finishing a transaction. I hate nosebleeds. I used to get nosebleeds so much as a kid. I almost went and got it burnt. Did I get it burnt? I might've actually got my nose burned when I was a kid. I kind of forget, but I got nosebleeds all the time. I grabbed a tissue and quickly excused myself to run to the restroom so that I could try to get it to stop bleeding. This of course meant that I couldn't say goodbye to the customer I had been assisting or give her a little spiel about how, how I was oh so grateful for her shopping with us. After about 10 minutes, I was finally able to get my nose back under control and headed back to the registers. I saw the customer waiting at the side with a scowl on her face. Her arms were crossed over her chest. It was really the whole nine yards. She then proceeded to scold me about how rude I was for not saying goodbye to her and thanking her for shopping with us. After I apologized and explained that I had an unexpected nosebleed, cause God forbid, she told me I should have tried holding it in and that the customer always comes first. This is why I have an attitude problem because people like this exist in our world. Oh God, speaking of weddings, so my mate's niece is getting married. The invite stated that everyone is required to come early to help set up the marquee and decorations. It's $360 per head to be there and the men are required to then help break the marquee back down. Also no one, especially women, are allowed to wear overpowering scents as the bride doesn't want them competing with the flowers she has chosen and no floral colors as it will be distracting in photos. And once the cleanup has been done, could everyone promptly leave? Oh my God, I'm not kidding you. And then they wrote, what in the F? And that is exactly what I'm thinking. What in the F? First of all, the $360 per head requirement. I'm so happy that you are just assuming everyone's financial situation. Okay. And then you're practically working. You got to set up, you got to take it down. And then once it's taken down, you need to leave like immediately. <laughs> like, what, what am I actually here for? Are we celebrating love or am I working for free? and paying you at least $360 for it. 
One time I was away from the dinner table when the bill came and my sister-in-law waited for me to return to pay the bill by actually handing it to me. She didn't give it to her sibling slash my significant other or pay her half, but expressly handed it to me to pay. That's wild behavior. What do you mean? I can't even physically imagine like receiving a bill and then just being like, like expecting someone to pay. That's even if they offered, I wouldn't even hand it to them like that. Oh my God. Some people want it all, but I don't want it all. I don't think that's the words at all. I was mixing two songs. I was thinking about some people want diamond rings. Some just want everything. Oh, I, I do know it. But everything means nothing if I ain't got you. I don't think my neighbor liked my performance. Rude. My dad hasn't worked a real job in over 25 years. My mom has been working and providing for us that entire time. Nevertheless, my dad expects to still be fully in charge of everything in our household, including how our money is spent on any purchases, more important than groceries, you know, because he still considers grocery shopping his wife's responsibility. Talk about entitled. Well, talk about mom just letting this happen. Mom, we need to talk. We need to talk. Okay, I feel like we need to, we need a better situation happening here. Come chat with me for a minute. Ah, hold on, itchy armpit. Oh, that's the worst when you just get a random itch in your armpit. Like what induces that? Anyways, I'm out of here you guys. I'm just tired. But also, I do have a reminder. If you guys want one of those don't limited edition, I might have a burp, hold on. <laughs> Sneeze, burp, something. Anyways, those two items, limited, don't merch edition. Did I say that right? Yes. We got hats. And then we have the infamous don't phrase on the hoodie now. Those two pieces are limited edition. Let me make that clear because people are thinking everything is going to be out soon. We're still hanging around for a little longer, you guys. We got some more stuff in the works. Ah! I'm so excited. But anyways, if you want the hat or the sweater, drawstar.com. Go get it now. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.